Hello, hello and welcome. I hope you are fine. I'm fine. Pleasant day. Not too hot, not too cold. The weather is just fine. I'm hoping that being a great day like it is today, you are motivated to make it different. Yes, different because each day brings along its blessing. And what do you bring yourself to each day? Each day is different. I trust and believe that this day will be and you will bring something forth to it. My name is Winnie Kamuya, CEO International Renaissance Center, an international best-selling author, speaker, and a coach. And today, I want us to look at eight strategies to building a healthy self-image. We've dealt with various things. We've dealt with self-doubt. We've dealt with inner critic. We've dealt with the way we talk to ourselves. Something that has affected our self-image. And now, we need to make sure we are working towards having a self-image that we are happy about. And if we want to do that, then we need to keep on working and working on ourselves. And I want to look and give you eight ways in which you can use or apply or implement to ensure that you are working towards that image of yourself so that you are the better version of you and you are proud, you are authentic, you are showing up. Because once you accept you, believe in you, trust you, then you show up. Yes. So I wanted to look at the eight strategies that you can use. Of course you are asking, can I apply? Yes, you can. Number one, we've talked a lot about limiting beliefs. Again, I bring limiting beliefs because this is what holds us back. Every time we want to do something we have never done, I believe that you've held for years will come up and remind you or talk to you and say, you can't do this. You never could have done this. This is new. This is strange. How do you think you can do it? It's not possible. It's not been done. In our family, there's nothing like that, and it's true. That can be something that could be holding you back, and it is true. It could be the reason you're not where you are today. It could be the reason you stopped even doing what you are meant to be doing. So, number one, look at your limiting beliefs. Number two, are you recognizing the small victories that you have each day because those small victories you have on a day to day can make a huge difference if you only celebrated them. We say that whatever gets celebrated gets repeated. You need to celebrate those small victories. You give yourself a goal. You achieve it. You want to look back and say, well done to myself. I did it. It looked impossible. However, I've done it. Celebration, very important. Number three, take full responsibility of your current situation. Yes, I'm here today. And I know tomorrow I could be at destination B. If only I started walking or if I can't walk, run. If I can't run, start moving to that destination. If you don't look at where you are for you to begin to plan how you'll get to the next point, then it can give you a challenge. So you want to acknowledge that and take responsibility for that. I know you're saying, how is that possible? But I'm telling you, anyone who climbed a mountain, will tell you they had to acknowledge they were at the foot of the mountain and they started 
one step at a time. And they reached the peak when they were moving. They were not stuck. They were moving. One step at a time. Even when it was so hard, they looked back and they saw where they had reached. And they had to continue moving because they needed to keep moving because they know at some point they will reach the top. And when you reach the top, you thank God that you reach the top and you can look back and see where you came from and you can see others beginning the journey and you know what you know what where and how it is going to be they don't know you know so you are how many steps ahead you're many steps ahead number four do something for others this is the hardest thing maybe or the easiest thing for you if you love doing things for people if you love helping other people when you help other people it makes you feel worthy it makes you feel worthy so go out there help others people need your help they might not be saying but they need do you know when they're so grateful and they tell you thank you you've made a difference in their lives I'm telling you, nothing blesses your life like that. Last year, I had a pleasant experience with my professor, my university professor, my professor who taught me, who trained me to be a teacher. One of the lessons he taught us, for me, it's learning. He said, when you teach others and you move them from where they were, you are more blessed because you have made a huge difference. You've transformed their lives. You moved them from somewhere or some place they thought they could not move. So go out there. Help them. Help someone. Volunteer. Help someone. They will be grateful and that will make you feel really worth it. Number five, take a step each day to your ideal self. What is your ideal self now? Let's imagine you are a cat and maybe you want to be a lion. What do you need to do for you to move from being a cat to being a lion? Maybe you need some kind of courage that you don't normally apply. And that's true because on each day, there are things you don't apply. And there are things you have within you, those resources, skills that you have within you that you've never tapped into them. Yes, because you're waiting. I don't know what you're waiting for. And by the way, maybe you are waiting because sometimes we all have this syndrome of we are waiting for permission from somebody. Who is that somebody? We have to give ourselves permission. Show up as if you are the lion. Or think to yourself, you are no longer the cat. You are the lion right now. And you need to act the, like the lion. How would the lion act? Then start acting. Because that's the true you. The cat, that's who you were trained to be. Remember, you are the lion. So if you keep that in mind, things will be much easier for you. Yeah. My son loves this guy. Not this guy. And for children, for children, for them to be brave, they always think about, say, Mr. Spider-Man. How will Mr. Spider-Man attack, work? How will he do something bravely? How will he deal with the enemy? The enemy, in your case, is in your brain. Tackle that enemy and get the enemy out of the way. You are the lion, if you forgot. The cat, I said to you, is who? you were trained to be. So keep that in mind. Number six, maintain and manage your self-talk. What are you saying to yourself each and every minute? 
Are you saying to yourself positive things? Are you saying to yourself negative things? The brain doesn't know. The subconscious doesn't know which is which. It's your job to keep out negative thoughts out of the way. It's your job to let positive thoughts remain with you because that helps you. That helps you. Raises your emotional, positive emotions and it makes you keep on believing on that. Keep on working on it. Keep on having that. You don't need something that will keep you away from yourself because I know and I believe if you can apply the positive thoughts then you are changing to a greater you and I'm sure knowing that you are the lion what do you need to keep going keep being the lion you are supposed to be Keep in mind, positive thoughts, very, very important. Number seven, get started on the bigger projects of your life. One of the things that could have affected your self-image is those big projects. Thinking about them and thinking where you will start and having no idea where will you start. Definitely, this huge mountain, how will I climb it? Where will I start? I know everybody craves for confidence to do whatever they see as impossible. It's one thing that I learned. I went to school, yes, I still did my education. I was trained by professors who, know, who knew what they would do. I still didn't believe that I could be a leader. I went again back to school and this time I was doing my masters knowing that once I finish with my masters definitely I'll be a leader. Did I become one? I continued learning more and more and what I realized is that everyone, everyone including you struggle with that part of being confident to lead. And what? I find that because during this time, I was trying to find how do these people stand and become who they are, lead? How do these people lead? What makes them understand and become the best of themselves? And I discovered a system, strategies that can help you become the leader you're meant to be. I discovered that there are three strategies you can use and you can become the leader you are meant to be. I discovered when you implement this properly, then you become the leader the lion you've always been meant to be. You leave behind the cat that you were trained to be. So if that is you, then I know I'm speaking to the right person because these three strategies help you to become the lion you ought to be. And that was my greatest revelation that even though I and you struggle with the same thing of doubting yourself, doubting myself, there is hope. There is big hope. And applying properly, implementing properly these three strategies, then you become the lion you are, the lion you ought to become or you ought to be. So I'm talking about three strategies, being exceptional, being extraordinary, and being excellent. Those three strategies have really made a big difference to my life and to the lives of people who I've worked with. And I know if you apply them too, you could benefit 
and become that lion you've always been craving to be. Number eight, avoid comparing yourself with others. Trust me, you are gifted. And me, I'm gifted. And what you're gifted in is not what I'm gifted in. So what is your gift? And how are you using your gift? Because my gift, I now understand it. And like I said, using the three strategies, I completely began to understand that I could become the leader. And I know if you too implement those strategies, it will never be the same for you again. You will be the lion that you have always been, that you never knew that you were. Right now, I can remind you again, you are living like the cat that you are trained to be. That's not you, because you are the lion. So now you are asking, how do I go about this? How do I move my life forward? You can move your life forward. And my challenge for you today, my challenge for you today, think about those eight things, I can just give you a brief of the eight strategies. I said number one, overcome your limiting beliefs. That's one. Number two, recognize the small victories. Number three, take full responsibility for your current situation. Number four, do something for others. Always remember, when you help others, you transform them, you inspire them. Number five, Take each day towards, take a step each day, just one step, towards the ideal you. Remember I said, you are acting as the cat that you are trained to be. Now, you need to start taking steps towards the lion you are. Number six, manage your self-talk. Number seven, get started on the big projects in your life. Start believing in you. I believe in you. You start believing in you because you can do it. Number eight, avoid comparing yourself with others. We are all gifted in different ways. That gift is what you ought to use. So today, what do you need to do? so that you can move a step forward. And by the way, as you move forward, you need to do something to your life. If being a cat is what you've been used to for a long time, and you need to start moving as fast as you can to stop being a cat, to become a lion, because you are the lion indeed. So create your affirmations. What affirmations will you use every single day to remind you that you are a lion. What affirmations will you have that you can look at as a reminder to you that you are a lion? So make sure you create some affirmation. They must be short in the present so that they remind you. They must be in present tense short if possible and make sure that they are there for you so look out and prepare something that will remind you every day i am a lion i am a lion i know i can do it i can do it i am able present tense giving and motivating you reminding you that you are the lion and the lion has Courage doesn't care about the other animals. He knows he's the king of the jungle. If you are the king of your jungle, yes, because there's someone in your mind where the jungle is, you are the king of the jungle. How would you deal with the other animals? You are the life. So today, this is what I want you to do. Do something for others. Find self-worth in helping others. Number two, by helping others, you will find yourself happy about number two. 
ensure that if you are going to help others and this is going to make a big difference for others, write it down so that each time, because you know what, when you help others, it might be something very small and it will be something you will easily forget. But come 10 years, 5 years from now, somebody might walk to you and say, you know what, you did this for me and it changed my life. And you know what? You will not even remember the person. You will not even remember what you did because you went out to help. So you didn't keep like a record of whatever it is. And you'll be surprised that somebody's life was transformed. Somebody's life changed because of what you did. Do that and you'll be grateful that you did something. And I'm sure you'll be so happy that you did something to somebody's life. With that said, I believe in you and I know you are becoming the lion because you deserve to be confident. You deserve to show up as the lion you are and you deserve to know that this world is waiting for you and you can make a difference to somebody's life if you take one step today. If you take one step today. So go, take one step today and do something that you've never done. Get out of your comfort zone and do something. Do something you've never done and do something for somebody. You'd be so happy at the end of it all that one life was changed. And all you need to do is just change, transform. Just one life and that is it. Just one life. Because you never know how that one life can transform other lives. It depends on you. I know it doesn't sound like it can happen. It can happen if you commit yourself. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that I've been able to touch the lion in you and that this lion is going to grow. We are no longer going to hear the cat meow. So, go out, be the lion, and I know you're doing great. Thank you for taking time to watch, and thank you for making steps towards the greater you, the better version of you. And until next time, leave your comments and feedback below. Goodbye for now.